Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a really quick and really simple uh, beginner training routine and how to do it. So listen and listen till the end because there I will tell you how to get the most out of this routine. That's it. And also those who think that they are intermediate, I would really recommend to stay because I guarantee you that not all of your exercises are the same and I guarantee that from some of my exercises you could really benefit. So listen and let's start. You can do this training routine from your home without any equipment and you can do it in 30 minutes which is incredibly quick for training routines. So first of all we start with a quick warm up which, uh, which would be to spin around your all limbs and all, all your main body parts. So let's spin out our wrist. Your wrist because uh, uh, these exercises will be wrist heavy. Then your legs. So after you warm up we can start the exercising. So here I'm starting a workout to show you that it only takes 30 minutes. So let's start. So I would say the first exercise should be push-ups because it's it, it, it enhances your arms, your core body. So let's do them. Your legs have to be uh, close to one another, arms a bit wider than your shoulders, and just go down and up, and do 10 repetitions. So, 10 repetitions are done, and do 3 sets of it. Between sets, you have to walk around uh, to keep your heart rate up do not put unnecessary stress on your heart let's walk and do it again When you're doing a push-up, you have to bend your arms 90 degrees after doing something for your hands or for your core body. I would recommend to do something for your legs. So now let's do squats. So when you're doing squats, your heels, your heels have to be on the ground. If you do lift your heels, and the exercise is not that effective. So after doing squats, I would recommend you find the ball, rest with your health, health of your weight, and do 10 of these exercises. It has to be hard because these places are usually really big. So I would recommend to do this even for intermediate guys because these parts are usually really weak and they are really useful. Now rest. And repeat it two more times. So now it's time to do some dips to improve uh, our shoulders. Find some stairs or something like that. I will be using uh, this part of my terrace. Let's do them. Stand on your 
arms, legs have to be straight and a bit further and go down. Up. And you can bend your legs if you if you need to. Also bend 90 degrees with your arms. And do also three sets, I mean, ten repetitions. So two more left. So after you're done with dips, with uh, regular dips, I'd recommend to do dips for your ankles. Find once again some stairs, make sure you have some support. To not fall over and do dips. You should go as low as possible and as high as possible to make the biggest range of motion. And once again, do two, three sets of them. After doing some ankle, after doing some ankle uh, dips, let's now do. Uh, some lean backs. Well, after doing uh, some lean backs, we basically ran out of time right now. Here you can see 27 minutes. The workout uh, is done. And after finishing the workout, I would really recommend to do some stretching because if you don't, you will be really sore and it will hurt your body. So let's do this. And now the workout is officially done. And it took us 29 minutes, which is almost half an hour. When you finish the workout, do the stretching. I would really recommend to go to the shower. Shower yourself because holy moly, how much sweat, how much you sweat when doing this kind of workouts. And then go to eat something. And now if you want to see something more advanced, uh, I would really recommend to watch this intermediate exercise of a video.